This will be part two of a two-part video series showing you what I've harvested from my newly planted backyard orchard. As I mentioned in part one, I'd just like to emphasize that the majority of the trees you're about to see have been recently planted. A few are also young trees that have never set fruit before, so I thinned out the uh, fruit in order to allow for root development. So the harvest you're about to see is not going to be a big harvest. The first one I'll be showing you is this one here. This is my cherry of the Rio Grande. As you can see, this is one of the few you will see in this video that has uh, not been put in the ground. I purchased this tree in late June of last year. It was, it was purchased uh, growing in this large pot. My plan is to eventually re-landscape my front yard and put this in the ground. I'm not quite ready to start that project. So for now, we'll have to stay in this pot and, until I'm ready. In late April, this tree gave me uh, its first harvest. It was a small harvest, only about 20 or so. As you can see, this is a, a mature tree. According to nursery workers, it's estimated to be over 10 years old. I believe the small harvest was due to the fact that it's growing in a container and also that it was still not acclimated to my area when it produced its crop. The fruit off this tree doesn't have much of a shelf life, so they were eaten as soon as they were picked. And just recently, I noticed that it started to push out new growth. These flowers you see here formed uh, a few weeks ago. It's still pushing out buds and there are still several that have yet to bloom. The buds are a little hard to see, but it does have several scattered throughout the tree. Now that the tree has had a chance to get uh, acclimated over this past year, hopefully this second set of buds will be a much bigger harvest. These next trees are my cherry trees. That's a mini royal on the left and a royal lee on the right. These have only been in the ground for about six months. The trees are doing well and they've put on a good amount of growth since being planted. I had someone post a comment as to how they were doing uh, with the heat. I'm in zone 10A and we don't get extreme heat out here even during the summer. At least not enough to damage these trees with, uh, as long as you give them regular watering, they're fine. The mini royal started to flower in mid-March. It produced several flower buds, but unfortunately it only produced one cherry. The cherry was harvested in late May.
the royal lee didn't do much better. It didn't flower until the end of March and it only produced two cherries. I harvested them in uh, June. I believe part of the reason for the poor harvest was the fact that they didn't bloom close enough to each other to allow for good cross-pollination. These trees require a pollinator and these two varieties are supposed to be good pollinators for each other. Hopefully next season they'll bloom a little closer to one another and I'll get a much bigger crop. This next one here is my plain seedless grape. This one also produced a very small harvest. This was its first fruit production and it only produced uh, two grape clusters. It's a fairly young vine estimated to be less than four years old. It's only been in the ground for a little less than two years. This is not the best place for this vine. It gets a limited amount of sun due to these banana plants shading it out. I plan on relocating these plants so I can get more sun to these vines. I've still got quite a bit of work to do in my backyard, but I'm hoping I'll be able to relocate the banana plants before next season. This next group of trees are my peach trees. This one here is my four on one peach. This is a young tree that's only been in the ground a little over six months. It has four different uh, peach varieties grafted onto it. Uh, Mid Pride, Desert Gold, Eva's Pride, and uh, Florida Prince. This tree only produced a total of four peaches. Three of them came off the uh, desert gold peach and the other off of the uh, Eva's Pride. I started to harvest them right around mid-May and the last one was picked in mid-June. This other tree is my Babcock peach white. This is a mature tree that has also been in the ground for just over six months. It started to set a large uh, crop, so I wound up thinning this one down a little. I still managed to harvest about 20 to 25 peaches. This other one here is my Santa Barbara peach tree. I didn't get any fruit off of it, maybe next season. It had started to set some uh, peaches early on, but uh, I think it went through a bit of transplant shock and it wound up dropping them all and not a single one set. This next one is my Katie apricot tree. This one has been in the ground for about seven months. It didn't produce a big crop. Uh, only a total of about five were harvested off. I picked the first one right around May. The fruit off this tree is uh, fairly good tasting, but uh, might have been just that it's the first harvest, but it just wasn't as uh, good as the uh, Blenheim apricot, which is the one I'm going to be showing you next. And this is it here. This is my uh, Blenheim apricot. 
this one started to develop fruit in mid-March. By mid-April, a large amount of fruit had started to set, so I wound up thinning. I wound up thinning off quite a bit off of this one. Sometime around mid-June, I began to harvest some of the fruit. I eventually harvested somewhere around 20 or so. These next trees are my apple trees. That's an Anna apple tree on the left and a golden set on the right. These trees started to flower around the same time. The uh, Anna apple was slightly ahead of the Dorset. It started to flower in late January and the Dorset uh, closely behind started to flower in early uh, February. The Dorset put out uh, quite a bit more flowers than the Anna apple. By mid-March, the Dorset had started to put on a large amount of uh, fruit, so I wound up thinning it down. I still left a good amount of fruit and wound up harvesting somewhere around 20 to 25 apples. The Anna apple didn't do as well. I was only able to get about 10 off of it. I started picking fruit off these trees in late May and continued picking a few at a time until sometime around mid-July. This next group of trees are my fig trees. That's a uh, blackjack fig right here. This one was planted in the ground a little over five months ago. This tree is estimated to be uh, less than two years old. Shortly after it was planted, it produced a Reba crop fig, which was harvested in early June. About a week ago, I noticed that uh, it's pushing out its main crop. This tree is barely getting acclimated to my area, so I believe that's why this crop is coming out late. I don't think it'll be a, a big crop, but it's its first one, so hopefully next season it will do better. This other one here is my Excel fig. It was put in the ground the same time the blackjack fig tree was planted. This is also a, a young tree. It produced just one fig off of the uh, Reba crop, which was harvested in uh, June. It's doing well now, and, and it's also putting out a main crop. It's not going to be a, a big crop. It doesn't have all that many uh, fruits starting to develop. This other one here is my Peter's honey fig. This one also just put out one uh, fig uh, off the Reba crop, but it didn't uh, it didn't reach maturity. It is, however, starting to produce a main crop. It started pushing out uh, its main crop in early May. It's still putting out a few, as you can see. As for the taste on these figs, uh, the Excel and Blackjack 
uh, the taste was slightly bland on both. Neither was as sweet tasting as some of the other figs. Uh, I expect this is due to the fact that these figs were Reba prop figs that developed during cooler months. Now that the weather is considerably warmer, the figs that are developing now should be much better in flavor. I'll post a follow-up video on these as soon as I start to harvest them. This is another one of my fig trees. Uh, this one is a uh, Celeste fig. I started harvesting figs off this tree in mid-July. This tree has been a steady producer. I've been picking fruit off of it a few at a time each day. So far I've already picked over 50 and it still has a few left on it. The fruit itself is not big in size but it does have excellent flavor. This next one here in this group is a spicy nectar plum. It's only been in the ground seven months. It only produced about four uh, nectar plums, but they were good size with excellent flavor. This tree has been doing really well. It's put on quite a bit of growth. I've already pruned it a couple of times. I'd like to keep this tree from getting too much taller than what you see here. I'm pretty sure this one is going to put out a good crop next season. This other tree here is another uh, grafted uh, peach tree. I had ordered this one from an online nursery. The tree arrived with uh, significant uh, damage to the uh, tap root. I wound up contacting the nursery and they sent out a, a replacement for it. It managed to put out three peaches uh, from one of the grafts. They were harvested in mid-June. The fruit was fair sized with good flavor. None of the other grafts produced any fruit. I haven't been really happy with the growth on this one. It's not doing nearly as well as the other trees. I'm sure being in this 15 gallon grow bag is restricting its growth, but the leaves just aren't a, all that healthy looking. I'm gonna keep trying to nurse this one back to health. Uh, hopefully I can get it uh, to produce a good crop. If I see it looks like it's going to fully recover, I'll probably put it in the ground. But for now though, I'm keeping it in this grow bag and monitor its health before deciding what to do with it. This last one here is my Lolita Suriname cherry tree. It's a black variety. I have one more of these. Uh, it's in a container as well. And I have another one that's uh, the red variety that's planted in the ground. This one though is the only one that uh, produced any fruit. It put on a heavy crop of about 100 or so. I started harvesting fruit off, off of it in mid-May. I picked a few each day and picked my last uh, fruit somewhere around mid-June. And recently it started to put out some more uh, flower buds. I've already harvested around 10 or so from, a, from its second uh, bloom. It's still pushing out more flower buds. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to uh, produce a big crop. Uh, 
the second go around, but I'm really happy with the fruit production so far. Especially considering the size of the tree and the fact that it's growing in a 15 gallon container. Eventually I'll be putting it in the ground, but that won't happen anytime soon. Well, that'll be it for now. Um, most of the trees that I have growing in my backyard orchard are fairly young. I'll be posting videos on a regular basis, so if you'd like to follow along as they mature, uh, please consider subscribing my, to my channel. And don't forget to like this video. As always, stay safe, grow your own, and thank you for watching.